hundreds have been killed and tens of thousands of people have fled their homes in Nigeria's central state of Benue in recent months due to conflicts between nomadic herders and farmers. The series of brutal attacks and kidnappings have stretched from the north-central region to the country's southern Niger Delta. The violent conflict between pastoralists and farming communities are mostly about land ownership, as climate change has forced the northern herders to migrate down south to find grazing land for their cattle. When you have climate change impacting on the environment, you then begin to see populations either migrating from where there is you know, a climatic condition that is not favorable to development to that area where there is. Or you see, you know, very strange and violent related competition for their resources. More than 10,000 Nigerians have been killed across the country in less than a decade during communal violence, mostly involving contests for natural resources. This costs the country about $16 billion annually in potential revenue. Security experts say government hasn't done enough to prevent further conflicts. One of what the government has done is to set up an ecological fund. Unfortunately, the, trans the transparency around the use of that fund is lacking. So we need to see more transparency. How much goes into that fund? What is it being used for? Today, the common perception is that that fund is used to fund political activities in, in states. Uh, and that, that's really unfortunate because if it's, if, if it's most of the security challenges in the country are associated with um, climate change, then we need to see a better use of, of that fund. Global food agencies have warned of possible food shortage that could affect nearly 6 million people if attacks by the terrorist group Boko Haram and deadly conflict between farmers and herders continue. Kelechi Mekalam, CGTN Abuja, Nigeria.